A rotation is a turn about a given point. It can be clockwise or counterclockwise. Rotations are taking place all around us. The planet we live on, the wheels of a car, and the hands of a clock are just a few examples of rotations in real life. In math, a rotation is a form of transformation that turns a figure about a point. We call this point the center of rotation. A figure and its rotated image maintain the same size and shape, but face a different direction. Three things must be stated to fully describe a rotation. 1. The direction. This direction can be clockwise or anti-clockwise. 2. The center of rotation. This is the point about which the object is rotated. It's the point that remains stationary while the object or figure moves in a circular path. 3. The angle of rotation. The angle of rotation is the angle through which the object is rotated. It is the angle formed between the line that runs from the center to the object point and the line that runs from the center to the rotated or image point. The Cartesian plane is a great tool to demonstrate rotations. Let's begin by looking at rotations where the center is the origin. Here, we plotted point A at 4, 3. If we draw a line from the center to the point A, then rotate this line 90 degrees clockwise. We will create an image point of A, which is at 3, negative 4. Notice what happened to the coordinates. The x and y coordinates swap positions, with the original x coordinate changing its sign. If we rotate the original line 90 degrees counterclockwise, we will create an image point of A which is at negative 3, 4. Notice what happened to the coordinates. The x and y coordinates swap positions, with the original y coordinate changing its sign. If we rotate the original line 180 degrees, it doesn't matter if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. The image point of A will be at the same location, negative 4, negative 3. Notice what happened to the coordinates. The x and y coordinates are in the same order, but the signs were changed. Now that we know how to rotate a point, let's rotate a shape. To rotate triangle PQR about the origin 90 degrees clockwise, we will use the rotation rule. The rule states that we can just swap the coordinates and change the sign of the original x coordinate. Let's apply the rule to the vertices and create the new image triangle. Point P is 2, 1. Hence, P image will be 1, negative 2. The point Q is 4, 1. Hence, Q image is 1, negative 4. The point R is 2, 4. Therefore, the image of R is 4, negative 2. Connect the points and we get our newly rotated image triangle. In the second example, the center of rotation is not the origin. Hence, we cannot immediately apply the rotation rule. First, we need to subtract the center of rotation from the original point. Next, apply the rotation rule. That is, swap the positions of the coordinates and change the sign of the first number. The third and final step is to add back the center of the rotation to get the newly rotated image point. Let's begin with the point A, which is 4, 1. First, we need to subtract the center of rotation from the original point. 4 minus 1 is 3, and 1 minus negative 1 is 2. Next, apply the rotation rule. That is, swap the positions of the coordinates and change the sign of the first number. So 3, 2 is now minus 2, 3. The final step is to add back the center of the rotation. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, while 3 plus minus 1 is 2. So the newly rotated image point of A is negative 1, 2. Now let's calculate the image of B. 
The point B is 4, 4. We need to subtract the center of rotation from the original point. 4 minus 1 is 3, and 4 minus negative 1 is 5. Next, apply the rotation rule. That is, swap the positions of the coordinates and change the sign of the first number. So 3, 5 is now minus 5, 3. The final step is to add back the center of the rotation. So negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4, while 3 plus minus 1 is 2. So the newly rotated image point of B is negative 4, 2. The point C is 6, 1. We need to subtract the center of rotation from the original point. 6 minus 1 is 5, and 1 minus negative 1 is 2. Next, apply the rotation rule. That is, swap the positions of the coordinates and change the sign of the first number. So 5, 2 is now minus 2, 5. The final step is to add back the center of the rotation. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, while 5 plus minus 1 is 4. So the newly rotated image point of C is negative 1, 4. Connect the image points, and we have our newly rotated image triangle. For this rotation, the center is not the origin. Hence, we need to subtract the center of rotation from the original points before applying the rotation rule. Let's find the image of L. Subtract the center from L. 1 minus minus 2 is 3, while 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Now apply the rotation rule by changing the signs of both coordinates to get minus 3, 2. Now add back the center of rotation. Minus 3 plus minus 2 is minus 5, while 2 plus 3 is 5. Hence, the image of L is minus 5, 5. Now pause the video and find the image of the other vertices L and M. An image is negative 8, 5, while an image is negative 8, 3. Pause the video and try this problem. Here is the solution. We are given two triangles. The original triangle, ABC, and its rotated image. Our goal is to find the center of rotation. That's the fixed point around which the triangle was turned. To start, we draw straight line segments connecting the original points to their corresponding image points. Draw a line from A to A image. Draw a line from B to B image. And draw a line from C to see. These lines represent the movement of each vertex during the rotation. Next, we construct the perpendicular bisectors of each line. We can find the midpoint of at least two of these lines and draw a perpendicular line through each. Let's draw a perpendicular through the midpoint of the line, which runs from A to A image. Now do the same for the line connecting C to C image. The point where the perpendicular bisectors intersect is the center of rotation. Now let's determine the angle of rotation. It's the angle formed between the line from the center of rotation to any point on the original shape and the line from the center of rotation to its corresponding image point we will use point C and its image point. Draw a line from the center of rotation to point C on the original triangle, and draw another line from the center of rotation to the C image. Measure the angle formed between both lines, and we get a right angle. So the angle of rotation is 90 degrees. The image triangle is positioned to the left of the original triangle, so the direction of the rotation is anti-clockwise. Hence, the full description of the rotation is a 90 degrees clockwise rotation with center 1, 5. By the way, a rotation of 90 degrees counterclockwise is the same as a rotation of 270 degrees clockwise.
both bring the object to the same final position. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. See you soon.